Welcome back to an extremely long overdue uh, continuation of my series on programming a video game, turn-based strategy game AI. Um, it's been much overdue, in fact. Um, I can blame it on the holidays, work, sickness, whatever. Take your pick. Anyway, um, one of the things that has happened, besides a lot of the uh, extra screens that go into making a game, is that I pretty much scrapped the AI that I had in progress and went with a more simplistic approach. I had to reconsider exactly what I wanted out of an AI program. And that's basically just to challenge the player, not necessarily to stomp all over them, being a world-class, like a chess program type AI. But what I want is something that provides an interesting and um, hopefully fun game. To that end, I noticed that there was a lot of weird behavior um, instilled in my AI because I was pretty much trying to do everything in a single computation step. I was looking for the best attacks, the best positions, best economics, all at the same time. What I've done here with this changed AI is I've broken out each of these different um, routines, so to speak, into their own parts. And it's much more simplified and there's certainly a lot more that I can do. But what you see here is the first attempt and this AI is actually a lot simpler in code than the, the previous one was. And I think it actually plays a little bit better a game. You can see that it's a little bit more aggressive. Um, another thing you'll note is that I'm showing off two of the new armies that have also made an appearance since the last time um, I've shown off this game. There's definitely some balance issues. Um, but right now, as far as the AI goes, I certainly see lots of little tweaks I can make. But as a whole, I think breaking it up into different individual goals has worked out and paid quite nicely off. Um, for instance, first thing it does in a turn is check whether it should um, use one of the special moves. Then it looks for the best attack moves that are exactly one turn away. Then what it looks for is more of the long-term goals, where it's going to be looking at how to get to that city up in the upper corner. And this keeps the gives the AI a lot of momentum forward. I've seen lots of comments from other developers that it's really easy to program an AI that sits there and reacts as soon as you walk up to it. And in fact, I've actually seen a couple games that that's almost the extent of the AI uh, is only reacting with one turn away. But actually getting the AI to progress across the map and make more strategic level moves uh, is the... is definitely the more difficult portion of the process and hopefully I think I've come up with a pretty nice way of going about this um, by first off trying to make all those initial moves the things that pay off within one move which I think is the easiest thing to do and then once those are left trying to program what remaining units there are um, trying to basically it'll go through different You'll try to see what villages I have, what enemy units can I attack. It sets a goal for each one and then decides which one is closest. And it will actually plot out with a pathfinding the different routes to each of those goals. And then it will choose the best, um, which one it can reach the furthest based on and priority as well as how quickly it can reach that the new location. And that has worked out quite nicely, I think. Like I said, there's certainly a lot that I need to do. I've, I've still seen little glitches here and there of behavior. But because the AI is much simplified code-wise, it actually works out. I think that it's going to be a lot easier to maintain and tweak in the long run. They're as much fun as doing the genetic algorithm was. It's just not something that's a place for here. Like, for instance, my last AI I had different dispositions based on... <laughs> such things as am I winning, am I losing, is at different stages of the game. And I think that was a little going a little bit overboard. It was certainly interesting and a fun little project to play with. But in the end, I think it just overcomplicated the whole thing. Anyways, if you're interested in checking out more information and looking at some of the code behind here, I plan on posting different code pieces from each of the different stages of the AI over the course of the next couple of weeks. Really, this time, uh, I just recently posted the first of this series a bit ago, and it's been a couple months since this follow-up has come around. I apologize for that. Uh, I'll spare you the excuses. Actually, I'll probably write the excuses in the blog post, and you can read them there and, 
anyway, um, thank you for joining me. And once again, hopefully we'll uh, be back much quicker than the last time.